Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, if um, uh, I may just take you back to the question of the uh, herdsmen, because we've spoken to some other members uh, in the House now, National Assembly from the North, and they said, look, this challenge, they themselves are also exposed to this, and they all want a solution to this matter. And I think now there's a grazing bill uh, which is being considered. Mm -hmm. But then if, uh, because whatever the president does or doesn't do, he's damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. And looking at how it's playing itself out, is it just resting at the table of the president or the National Assembly have a role to play here? Because if that bill, and even state governors, so shouldn't we just look at how they all have responded to it rather than just that of Mr. President because he can't lord his views over those independent arms of government. What has the government proposed? What is the initiative of a government? I mean, the, 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 the box stops with the government. President Buhari is the president. So even if the National Assembly is going to address something, he has to present the initiative. Look, this is the worst government in the history of Nigeria. On what basis? Why do you say that? On, on all grounds. They have failed in everything. They have failed. They, all the promises they made to get to power, they have reneged on them. They have not achieved anything, as far as I'm concerned. So, I don't, don't you see any successes in the fight against corruption? Did you know that those kind of monies were exchanging hands at the time? Well, you know, the, the, the fight against corruption, the problem I have with the fight against corruption is that the PDP was not the only government in Nigeria. Please. Um, the APC was in power for 16 years in Lagos. Well, why are they not? <laughs> why is it? You know, I mean, if you want to fight against corruption, if you want to, if he, must, he that comes, comes to equity must come with clean hands. You must fight it in a way that we understand that it is corruption that you are interested in. I don't get that impression. I see corruption. I, I, people who have been stealing our monies must be prosecuted. No question about that. You ask any Nigerian, they will tell you about that. But I don't think that the objective, the way it's been prosecuted, is to fight corruption. But did you ever I think, think that I it think was, it is to fight the opposition. Did you yeah. think that there was corruption in the last administration? The last administration was steeped in corruption. There's corruption everywhere. Did you but, ever it wasn't, but it wasn't, you know, please. I want to know what's happening did in you, Lagos. Did States. you criticize that? Pardon? The corruption that was... I wrote against corruption on that, on that administration. Was anything administration. done about it? Pardon? Was anything done about it? Was anything done about it? Yes. I, I, well, they had, uh, number one, it was the PDP that gave us EFCC. Mm. It was the PDP that gave us ICPC. Mm. Um, so it, the, the whole concept of fighting corruption was a PDP initiative. Um, let's look at the different ways that the PDP fought corruption. Um, they fought corruption in the agriculture so that uh, middlemen were completely removed and fertilizers went directly to the people. The fought corruption with, by removing ghost workers. Um, the integrated payroll system is a PDP creation. The TSA is a PDP creation. In fact, I don't know of any instrument of corruption that the government is using now that was introduced by this People government. acknowledge that the TSA was indeed muted by the last administration but was only implemented in this administration. Yes, Why? and it was implemented at the wrong time. Why do you think that was so? <laughs> you know, it was because, you know, you, you don't only have an idea. You have to know when to implement it. Now, you don't implement the TSA at a time when Nigeria is short of funds. And so what you have now is that the banks are being, uh, people are being fired in the banks because you have all, you have taken the little money that is left, you have taken it out of the system into the central bank it doesn't make sense. You don't reproduce it now. So that even the best ideas have a timing. Look at, look at what we've done, what the government has done with the exchange rate. When it was necessary for them to devalue, they didn't. S wasted so much time well, defending and unrealistic. When it was necessary for them, shouldn't we have done this a, a while back when, when we had healthier uh, forex bases? When we had healthier forex bases, there was no basis for devaluation. We didn't need to devalue. The, the, the exchange rate moved under Jonathan. The president said it was terrible that we should have 230. Well, you know, if it was terrible that we should have that, uh, the, 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 the black market should be going at 230. But what, what do we say about now?
if it's at 400. But you know, in, in spite of all of those that you say the PDP government gave us at the time, uh, instruments to fight corruption, but if you look at what happened then, uh, in terms of the kind of success they recorded at the time, and now, in terms of the kind of money people are volunteering to return to the system, and the president's resolve saying, look, nobody will stand in his way about that. Shouldn't we get some sort of you know, encouragement that, look, he's a man, because even the PDP, some members have been here, say, look, we give it to him. He's a man of integrity. He means well. Shouldn't we then say that, yeah, we should be encouraged by his stance, and we all know that if you intend to do business in this country, you should know that, look, if you plan to frustrate uh, anyone, uh, 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 think uh, again. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not encouraged. Let me tell you what I'm not By encouraged. his integrity or his stance or his approach? I'm not encouraged by his integrity. On that PT, on, he was chairman of PTF. 25, 25 billion disappeared, according to the Harun Adamu uh, <laughs> pro panel. Uh, 500 million disappeared in the bank under his watch. Uh, he told us that Bugatti never stole. Do you think he took it? Pardon? Do you think he took it? Under his watch. 25.7 billion, 25 billion naira disappeared under, under the president's watch. Because you just, you just ended that with, he said he never stole. He said, he said, Abacha never stole. Mm. But now, he is trying to recover Abacha's money. You understand? Now, now what, hap what I get from this is that there's a convenience analysis to the president's integrity. There are people who stole money that are not PDP people. Most of the PDP thieves are now in APC anyway. Once they join APC, they are no longer thieves. That is not a sign of integrity. Don't you think it's a question of time? That no, 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 no. The searchlight will fall on those people in a question of time. Why not do, why not do it you know, all together so that we know? Why not do it? The, the, the Secretary of the Government says that APC people never stole. Didn't you hear a statement yeah, but, that they're not going to probe APC people? I, I Why sure, not? I wish sure people are submitting petitions to the EFCC about those members because Come even on. in the President's they only, chat... They only, they only it, submit about the... No, but in his chat, he also said, look, he, let him name one member in his cabinet who has been so accused or submit they, any document. They, they have named, and he will they go have named the several. They have named... They have, have named they submitted Amici, petitions? They have named Pashola. Have they submitted they have named, no, nothing has happened. Did the EFCC uh, confirm that they received petitions from people about that? <laughs> so it, it, it is only PDP people that they are raising petitions about. No, we're going back. Let us let us let us let us let us let us be realistic. Uh, look, there was widespread corruption. We have been very very corrupt people. The PDP has been steeped in corruption. But please, and then we've we've had all kinds of cases now where we've discovered that. A lot of public funds were used to fight elections. PDP used public funds to fight elections. I want to know, where did they get the money? APC get the money to fight their elections. Where did they get the money? There was, there was a challenge that was made by people in Ekiti that under fire, I mean, 1.5 billion was donated for, to, 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 to Buhari's campaign fund. 1.5 billion. 1.5 billion naira was the donated to Bukhari's campaign fund, according to the the the, the Ekiti oh. government. Why 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 is it that only one, so I'm saying that the corruption element. How is that uh, feasible though? I mean, because he, he he wasn't running for office at the time that uh, the former governor was defeated. Let, let us find out. Let's get your thoughts on this uh, development within the Senate. The, ongoing trial of Senate leadership. Do you think people are rightly or wrongly accusing the presidency? They are not wrongly accusing the presidency. They are rightly accusing the presidency. Uh, the, the, the president is fighting on too many fronts. But if they've got it's, a it's case... Fighting, it's fighting on too many fronts. If the matter is in court, why in do you blame the, the president? In the end, in the, in the end, uh, you're going to have to work with some people. If he has legislation, which I haven't seen, because you know I think that they didn't know they were going to win, if he has a program, they're going to pass it through the Senate. Do you think it's easy leading this country? Well, I would never want to be president of Nigeria. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't think it is easy. But you know, I didn't ask to be president four times. Huh? Why well, he has to be president four times? And when he finally got there, we discovered that he just wanted to be president because he doesn't have a program. He doesn't have a project. He's got ministers 
who are the, 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 the unimpressive. Do you think that the PDP, yeah. though, should take responsibility for where we found ourselves econo of course. economically? Of course. Of course they must take responsibility for it. But I'm saying that the PDP was not the only government because we operate a federal system. And so we must look at the totality of it. If they must, do you think that then they, they can criticize, you know, where it is that we found ourselves, economically speaking? Of course they can, because, you know, the PDP too can claim to have reformed itself. In fact, they can claim that they have shared some of their bad eggs to the APC. Was a former Arabic ally, the author, public commentator, and policy analyst. We appreciate your coming on this morning. Thank you very much for Well, back to where we also draw the curtains today on the program. We well, thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. And happy holiday as well. I'm Chamberlain Usaw. <laughs> well, I sincerely hope it's a happy one for everyone. They have one more day. Oh, we have one more day. Do we? <laughs> no, we don't. We're always working. <laughs> well, we're here for you. Thank you so much. I'm Maokwe Ogun. Very thanks. I'm Slyvan Alebe. See you again. Yeah.